Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Courtney Shavante. I'm here with another bomb tutorial. This one is going to be for my Afro meditation roach clip. If you're really rocking with this one, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and let's get started. Alright hippies, so to get started, what you're going to do is just go ahead and prep your molds, go ahead and get everything set up and prep your resin. You're not going to need a whole lot for this step. You only need maybe 10 to 15 milliliters of resin. I can't remember exactly how much I use, so sorry about that. But yeah, you don't want to fill this to the top, so this is just going to be for the first layer because you know I love working in layers take a few of these little amethyst chips that i have here i got them off of amazon which i will have linked below for you but you can also find many different stones that i have available inside my mystery boxes especially the spirit goddess one so yeah just go ahead and um push those into place using a toothpick because that's going to help make sure that any bubbles that get trapped will help get released as well um, from here you want to go ahead and grab your glitter mix. This is Fantasy Ride. I don't have any more of this one available, um, but I do have other ones available on my Etsy shop. You can go ahead and spoon that right on over the um, amethyst chips and then you're just going to take that same toothpick and just kind of move it around so that way the glitter has a chance to kind of come in front of some of those stones so that way it's kind of mixed in a bit. And you also want to drag it upwards just a tad bit so it goes into her torso so yeah just go ahead and push that all around and then you're going to get some foil use that same toothpick and you can break that foil up because you do want it um, into tiny little pieces and you want it kind of randomized and shredded around and after you finish with that you can spray some alcohol to release any bubbles that may occur and then we're just going to let this stand All right, so next you want to just go ahead and grab your beads and you want to go ahead and grab your roach clip and some E6000 glue. What I like to do is I like to add the E6000 glue, E6000 glue onto the actual stem and then add the beads onto the clip from there. I do it one by one and I add glue each time because each time you push a bead down, it will push the glue down. So you will need to reapply. Um, these beads are exclusive and they are from my little shop and everything so make sure you do check out my Etsy shop linked below for you guys and then after you add that last bead you just want to go ahead and let that dry so that way it can be ready for our next step now once you have that dry or semi dry um, you want to go ahead and place that right into the stem holder portion of this roach clip mold now I have the edge of the roach clip sitting on top of one of my little glitter canisters um, you can use that or you can use a doming block which I will have coming to my shop shortly um, just to help you guys with your projects and make it a lot easier on you um, but what I'm doing off to the side over here is I'm mixing up these mica powders into this resin. I have um, 20 milliliters of resin here and I'm going to also add in some alcohol ink. I'm adding in this white opaque and also this purple alcohol ink so that way I can get this really purple metallic um, looking hue that I'm looking for. And I think it's really pretty because it's a very subtle, subtle purple color. It looks really lavender and yeah I just like it so what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and add a little bit of resin into that stem holder not a whole lot just enough for the um the roach clip stem to actually sit in there so that way this helps prevent any bubbles or anything like that from getting trapped in there um and it's just gonna help make the casting even easier so at this point, you know, what we're just going to be doing is we're going to be kind of waiting for this resin to thicken. Now, I want to make sure that you guys do let this resin thicken because that's going to be very key to these roach clips and making sure you're not wasting a lot of resin. Because if you put it in when it's freshly mixed and it's still super thin, it's going to run right out of your roach clip holder. 
um, mold so I just want to make sure that is very clear regarding these you will need to expect a bit of leakage leakage is going to happen it's inevitable with this mold however it can be reduced by being patient and making sure that your resin has a chance to thicken now you guys are going to see me just kind of playing around within everything i'm using some resin just to kind of put over um where these um amethyst, amethyst chips are where it would be likely to bubble at just to help prevent some bubbles but i'm still overall just kind of waiting for this resin to thicken and everything now um before i started recording this portion you know i came in with my resin prepped um i had it stirred and sitting like after I finished stirring I had it sitting for maybe about five to seven minutes before I turned the camera on and then um, although this portion of it is sped up it was sitting for maybe about 10 minutes or so um, on its own like you know just during this part that I'm talking through right now so after that is when I end up pouring it and we'll get to that part in just a second so I'm going to let you guys just enjoy some music and everything and enjoy the waiting because I can't enforce that enough to be patient and let this resin thicken because it does leak. Be patient, let the resin thicken because it will most definitely leak. Okay, I'll be right back with y'all. Alright, so I zoomed this camera in a bit for you guys so that we can see it even better. But now that this resin is nice and thick, you see how it's not running super fast, um, you know, all across the mold. I have to like kind of be more intentional about where I'm pouring it, making sure it's getting everywhere and using my stick to push it around. That's the level of thickness that you need. So go ahead and, you know, fill this mold up and everything. Get that resin all where you need it because at this point you're not going to have a lot of working time. But it's fine because we're going to go ahead and fill this up and this is going to be our last layer with it being within the mold so once you um, have enough resin in place feel free to use the rest um, in a little shaker bit or something like that I have a shaker bit palette um, that I haven't used on here but I'll leave a card up below um, or on the top wherever it gets posted for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about spray your alcohol and everything and then you're just going to let this cure I forgot to tell you guys this part, but you can also use the um, actual beads on here as a stopper. So keep that in mind. You can use those little beads as a stopper to help with the leaking. Don't mind the mold to the background. Those are just curing. But after I picked up the um, roach clip mold, I just kind of wanted you guys to see how much resin was actually left behind. So although you may have some spillage, if you use the method and everything that I described previously, this will really, this should really be all that you have for the most part. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So, pro tip, just want to make sure you guys know how to use the roach clips effectively. All right, hippies, so once that is done curing and everything and you've waited the time that you need it to, what you're gonna do is you're just going to go ahead and wiggle this right from your mold. I always pull at the mold and never the piece so the piece doesn't bend, so keep that in mind. Just another pro tip for you guys. 
Um, so go ahead and pull off any little excess pieces that you have there. If you need to, you can get a blade. This blade came right from the Dollar Tree. It is nothing special. Um, so yeah, you can find these little blades everywhere and you don't need like a super expensive blade in order to do this part. You just need to make sure that it's flat and sharp. So from here, you're just going to go ahead and also prep your paint and get a paintbrush because I'm going to be painting the etchings of this particular piece white. Now before I start, since I was handling it and everything, I'd be like all slippery and slick and shiny and whatnot. I had to wipe this piece down so that way there aren't any there isn't any oil on it so make sure you do do that if you need to you can use alcohol to wipe it down and then from there I'm just going to paint that white acrylic paint into the etchings um, after you get painted into the etchings you want to really push down with that brush just to make sure it's actually getting in there and there aren't any bubbles trapped or anything like that because you don't want to have to do a second layer if you don't need to but yeah, um, once you finish painting that on, you're just going to let it dry completely and then we'll move on to our next step. Right, time for the fun part because now we get to see how that paint took and everything you see me spray the actual piece with some alcohol that I always have linked below for you guys the exact one that I use and I'm also using one of my son's old t-shirts that he's grown out of and I'm just using that to wipe um, the paint off it is slightly damp um, but it is it's very slightly damp it is barely leaving any water trace behind when I am like rubbing it on my arm or something like that so you want to keep that in mind when you are doing that and everything so yeah just go ahead and clean off the excess paint and get that off of there and then we'll be able to go on to what we're doing next right super simple hippies so you already know what to do now i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all in on a little secret i didn't add the liquid latex on the bottom and it did definitely seep through on me because i got a little cocky but i suggest you guys don't do that and add the liquid latex on the bottom before you add this doming layer just for a little extra step of protection and just to make it easier because i had to get back in here with the blade again and the back isn't as smooth as i like it to be so this piece is actually unsellable in my opinion um, but you know if it's for family or something like that or just a quick little gift um, it definitely won't be such of a big deal but if you're actually going to be selling this product and sending it out to people you may definitely want to add on that liquid latex layer but yeah just go ahead and spread on that resin evenly and everything spray that alcohol to burst any bubbles that may form and then we're going to let that cure Ta-da! This right here is our finished product, hippies. So what do you guys think? I think she is absolutely beautiful, if I do say so myself. I really love how this purple color turned out. It's the lavender metallic soft purple that I was really going for. I love how these beads really complemented and everything. So make sure you do check out my kits that are attached to the roach clips and everything. Um, the kits can't be bought separately, but they can be bought with the roach clip molds. So check it out. Um, um, I love how this foil is looking with these etchings. I love this design on here. I have been putting it on everything. I think I'm going to release a tray with this design too. What do you guys think? I'll put it out there if you want it. But just let me know in the comments below because I just love to make you guys happy. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> But yeah, so I want to um, just go ahead and point out that, you know, you can see over where the um, resin start to drip at by the bees. You can also cut that off with the blade. This is how the clip looks at the bottom. 
the glue helps keep the um, beads from twirling around and everything in your hand and it's just the perfect little accessory for all the stoners out there or anyone who has long nails and they need to get their card back out of the card reader because that whole chip thing is really messing up the vibe and if you feel me you know you know um but yeah hippies like what do you guys think are you guys gonna try this um tutorial out again this mold is available in my etsy shop i appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in and until next time hippies xo Mwah.